Welcome to Musto Invest in Cambodia. Happy New Year 2023 for everyone watching at home. I'm really grateful and appreciative for your support and for all the messaging and inquiries that I have received so far in 2022 and I hope 2023 will be a great year for everyone and thanks to everyone all the people that chose our service I really appreciate for trusting us and our service that means a lot and hopefully I can continue to give you guys value so continue to give us feedbacks advice i would really appreciate this video will probably age but definitely i want to make this video to just appreciate everyone and wish you a successful 2023 may everything be better than the previous year and let's get started in this video today i'll be sharing to you why did i choose cambodia over other countries when i'm to move in as a foreigner but before we start don't forget to like the video share it to your friends subscribe to musto invest in cambodia hit the notification button contact us on our facebook meta page or instagram page and also our two official websites in the description below and let's get started so yes there are several reasons why i chose cambodia in late 2010 yes late 2010 i was a teenager came i arrived to cambodia with my parents and my sole purpose was just to study because my parents were looking for an international school and we searched online and we found out that thailand was a great place for us to go and uh, everything seemed very nice but the problem was that international schools in thailand were much more expensive than our budget so we tried to search for indonesia and malaysia everything seemed right even for the visa but the price for the international schools was also quite high so that's why we decided to moved to Cambodia because Cambodia seemed to fit our budget and yes even though my education costed as much as 200 US dollars per month I think it was worth it because Cambodia was an upcoming country and a lot of development happening and the roads were old broken unlike right now with uh, huge new highways like the one from Phnom Penh to Sianoville and all roads in Phnom Penh paved and in good condition. The all roads at the moment have really been improved compared to in 2010 when many roads were broken or they were just sandy roads or broken all roads. So this country has really changed so much over the last 12 years that I have been here. And 12 years ago, there were just few banks. I remember Canadia Bank, Eclida or Aslida Bank, and there was not even ABA Bank. Now ABA Bank is everywhere. It's the most popular bank in Cambodia. So much has changed, especially in the amount of banks that you can find in this country. I actually wanted to stay in Thailand, but the visa for Thailand was so complicated. You had to stay like two or three months, then get out of the country, then come back for visa runs. So it was so annoying, so many regulations, so many rules. And Cambodia just had none of that. It was very straightforward. And another thing that we really liked was the usage of US dollars because my father was getting his um, monthly paycheck from the United States in US dollars and Cambodia uses US dollars as its second currency after its local Khmer Rhea that is used smaller transactions and that made my father very interested to stay in Cambodia because he didn't have to worry about the exchange rate because some currency lose value and just very easy very straightforward the US dollar a reliable currency 
And also Cambodia was quite stable politically, so we found Cambodia a very safe country to be in. Of course, you have to be diligent, you have to be careful everywhere, but we just found Cambodia the best place to be, especially Siem Reap and Phnom Penh. Also was quite affordable and warm, 365 days a year, a lot of fruit, vegetables, and just a nice country, just a nice place to stay long term. Yes, me and my family, we travel to almost all Southeast Asian countries. We have been to Vietnam for six months. We live there, we stay there. Great country, in my opinion, just not so great for investment, in my opinion. But uh, yes, we've been to Malaysia, we've been to Indonesia, Thailand, of course, and Laos, and Singapore. So we've been to almost all Southeast Asian countries, except for Myanmar and Brunei and the Philippines, that I actually supposed to have gone for college, but because my father passed away when I was 19, so that's why I couldn't go anymore. And we saw, I saw Sianoville, I was excited to go there. I saw the beaches, a nice place to go. And I remember uh, me and my family, we used to travel to Sianoville and we used to enjoy the beaches before the crazy transformation that happened in the last three years. Sianoville used to be a small town with very nice beaches and I remember Boko Mountain didn't even have that new road that was built a couple of years ago it was an all broken road so I remember I was very excited to go to Kampot very excited to go to Sianoville but we ended up going to Siem Reap because Siem Reap seemed to fit us as of this perfect quite little town uh, that had supermarkets, banks, and most importantly, an affordable school for me. So that's why we decided to move in, in late, at the end of 2010, to Siem Reap. We stayed one year and then we moved to Phnom Penh because uh, the school that I was going to in Siem Reap didn't have a certain grade because I had to go to grade 11,